Yeah, they do. You know, uh, you know Clee, Clee comes across as a really quiet guy, and he is. He's got a great personality. Uh, he really does. Uh, he is it's so focused. I mean, he's just unbelievably committed and focused, uh, you know, player. A great teammate. Austin's the same way. I mean, it's just when you got guys that, that are great players that, that just care so much uh, about the program, about their performance, about their teammates, uh, I mean, it just it makes my job a lot easier. And that's, that's who they are. And then Dexter, uh, same thing. He's, he's, he's kind of quiet, too, uh, on the outside. But, man, what a great personality he's got and a relentless competitor. Uh, you know, watch him play last week. I mean, he played great, and he and he had a bum ankle, and I mean, he was he was dis he was disrupted uh, with with his opportunities and just taking on double teams and just doing stuff that a lot of times don't show up on the stat sheet. Uh, but I, I'm I'm really proud of all four of those guys. They they thrive off each other. How do you detect that kind of character on the recruiting trail when you walk into a school onto a head coach's office? How do you know this guy's got it? This guy doesn't. Well, I don't think you can just get it when you walk into the school. I mean, you certainly try to do your homework and your research and talk to everybody that you can talk to. Uh, you know, these coaches, I mean, we've created an environment here where they know uh, that, that I'm going to hold them accountable for not just the type of player, but I'm going to hold them accountable for the person that they bring in here, first and foremost. And so, uh, you know, I think our coaches are, are pretty cautious and very thorough. Um, and so there's a lot that goes into that. I mean, it's it's – like I said, it's it's talking to uh, uh, obviously all the coaches and, and other people in the school. Uh, it's uh, it's what's you know sometimes it's talking to the strength coach. You know what type of work ethic does he have in the weight room? Obviously, it's their family uh, getting around uh, their family and just kind of you know figuring out how this how this young person is wired and how he's been raised. And I mean, there's a lot that goes into it. We study their social media. Big time. Uh, sometimes you got a guy that's got one personality, and then he's got a whole different profile on social media, and that matters. Uh, so we, we try to do as good a job as we can, uh, but also understanding that these are young people. These aren't these aren't you know uh, finished people, grown, mature adults, and and so there's a there's a fine line, and you know, cause part of our job is is developing character, correcting. And, and helping these guys mature. So I think, you know, you just got to make good decisions um, and uh, make sure that we bring the very best people in here first, um, and, uh, but also, you know, players that are good enough to, to compete at the highest level. You have a lot of young players that watched players win games last year from the sidelines, and Saturday was really the first time that guys like Kayvon Wallace and Alice Pinky yep. have been in there crunch time and then part of that comeback win. Valuable. It's, it's huge. I mean, you know, like y'all heard me say many times. I mean, this is a nobody wants to hear that. Uh, and I don't, I don't, I, I'm not, I ain't gonna ever stand up here and make some excuse uh, for you. I mean, I tell you, they want we, we're good enough. I mean, we, we're good enough. We got all we need. Uh, and but when you sit there and you look at you, you go, okay, uh, we got we had thirty, we got thirty six guys the other night. There were thirty six guys that we took on that on that trip that are either new players, so they're first year players, you know, guys like Isaiah Simmons, uh, 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 T. Higgins, Amari Rogers, ETN, you know, guys like that, that are just truly first year players, or they're guys that are in bigger roles than they've ever been. You know, Trey Lamar, you know, Kayvon, Trayvon, uh, Ray Ray, uh, you know, they, they gotta be the guy, Dion. Mylan, Feaster. I mean, this is the first time in their career that they kind of, you know, had to had to kind of carry that load of, hey, I'm the guy, um, and I've got to step up. Uh, Falsinelli. I mean, there's a there's 36 guys like that on our roster out of 72 that travel to to Rob. Uh, like I said, that are that are just you know, and there's other guys that, that don't fit that category uh, that aren't maybe don't have big roles right now, um, but. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's fun when you see them. You know, start to grow. We're gonna make some mistakes. I mean, you just know that. And so, 
I know what's coming. I know I know that it's going to pay off for us. You know, we got a we got a couple of young DBs that are that are going to learn through their mistakes that are going to turn out to be really good players for us. Uh, you know, we're coaching them dang wideouts left and right every single day. Uh, there's so much to teach. There's so much to learn. Uh, Kelly Bryant, he's one of them. I mean, he's a junior, but he hadn't really played. Uh, so, and now you're in every situation is an opportunity to grow. And I thought uh, last week was a, a great growth opportunity, in particular Kelly, because he didn't play well. I mean, he, he made great decisions, but he, he didn't, it was his worst completion percentage. I mean, he's been a very uh, good guy completion wise. But to, but to see him, you know, maybe not just, just the fact that he knows he doesn't have to play perfect and can still win. I think that's another step for him as a quarterback. Um, so just, we got a lot of that going on on this team, uh, all across the board, uh, that I think will pay off well for us. Go ahead. Going back to Glenn, he said yesterday that your word of the year was appreciate. Uh, what did you tell your guys at the beginning of the season about appreciating the top of the Yeah, it was actually appreciation, uh, to be specific, uh, was my word. And I just, you know, I just, going through the season last year, uh, the run we had, and just man, it's just, I mean, it's just a lot. The last two years, really, I mean, uh, we've been, we've been, and, and they're really not even the last two years, uh, but the last seven years. I mean, just the amount, the type of consistency that we've had. Um, you know, I just think that it's important that everyone has a great appreciation for the opportunity, uh, appreciation for this new building that we moved into, uh, appreciation for the privilege to play, uh, appreciation for. Uh, your teammates, you know, um, I think that's important, you know, because when you, when you uh, to, the, the definition of that word appreciation is a full understanding of something, you know, and, um, you know, that's, that's just what we want to create and, uh, and, and, and be, uh, for me, it was for me too, just to really uh, have a great appreciation for the journey, you know, just the daily grind, uh, the opportunity to do what we do on a daily basis. I mean, this is, it's such a, it's such a privilege um, to be able to coach a game uh, that I love and I love to play and, and to get to do it at a place like Clemson on a stage like this is just incredible. And uh, I just think it's important that we don't ever take that for granted. Uh, so uh, when you have an appreciation for something, you, 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 uh, uh, you know, you show that and, and you stay humble Helps you stay hungry for what's next. What you said after the game uh, on Saturday about the ups and downs of coaching a guy with the level of confidence that Ray Ray has, but how critical of that is that personality to being able to put him in a role like you did at the end of the game, throwing him out there on their you know, best receiver on a, a crucial drive? Not many guys with a lack of experience would be able to handle a, a job like that. Well, he's earned it. Uh, I mean, it's not like I said, it's. it's it's not like we, he's, he hasn't practiced. I mean, we didn't just throw him out there without any practice. He's worked at it and practiced, and he's demonstrated his confidence to us in practice. Um, and it was just a situation of need. That we just felt like, hey, we need a, uh, we just need a little bit more of a veteran guy here um, that uh, kind of knows the situation, and, and you know, that's that's why we put him in there. You know, I've, I've been coaching skilled guys for a long time, uh, and I've had a million Ray Rays. Uh, you know that that uh, sometimes just there's some growth that that, that has to take place, and uh, I'm just really proud of him. He's in a good place. I mean, he, he's in the best spot that he's been in, and I think uh, that just kind of adds uh, fuel to his fire. You know, the fact that that uh, you know we have confidence in him, and and it goes back to the punt return too. You know, I mean. Uh, we believed in him and what he could do. Uh, we just needed, we just needed him to kind of, you know, put a little more sense of urgency into some things. And, and sometimes you got to go through some stuff to really get the right mindset. And that's really what it took for him, because uh, he's a very prideful player. And uh, you know, he's he's realized that, you know, how he's have how he has to work, uh, and the mindset that he has to have to to reach his potential. Um, and as he's grown in that area, his confidence has, has grown, grown and, and uh, you know, 
he's just a, a guy, as you said, going back to fall camp. Uh, when we started kind of working him a little bit just to give us, uh, see what he could do there if we needed him, he's a natural. So our confidence comes from what he's done in practice. He gets good players.